we affirm, obviously, absolutely, such an important role for faith in public life. And we want to be sure that faith, the role that faith does play in public life is a unifying one. This is Faith Complex, a dialogue about the entanglement of religion, politics and art. Hosted by Professor Jacques Berlinerblau of Georgetown University. Hello, I'm Jacques Berlinerblau of Georgetown University and you've just clicked into Faith Complex. Joining us today is Ms. Katie Paris, who is Program and Communication Director of the group Faith in Public Life. Ms. Paris, welcome to Faith Complex. Thank you for inviting me, Jacques. Now, your group, Faith in Public Life, has quite literally burst onto the scene. Nobody knew it was around three, four years ago, and all of a sudden, it's like the IT nonprofit group of Washington, D.C. What is Faith in Public Life, and how'd you guys do it? Well, Faith in Public Life is a strategy center for the faith community, and our mission is to advance faith in the public square as a positive and unifying force for justice, compassion, and the common good. Now, you guys have had many hits and successes, but by far, I think the greatest was the Compassion Forum at Messiah College. Wow, tell us about the Compassion Forum at Messiah College. Um, the Compassion Forum was an incredible experience for all of us at Faith and Public Life, and for an organization that was just a couple years old to organize uh, and, and co-sponsor a forum with presidential candidates featuring questions from faith leaders from across the religious and ideological spectrum was quite a feat. Really, really unbelievable. And I want to say that you actually saved my bacon at that event. I don't know if you recall this, but I had ventured outside of the green room without any ID. And Secret Service was not impressed when the uh. only ID I had on me was my chicken out card. That's a little um, restaurant <laughs> chain. So I showed them my chicken out card and they wouldn't it let me back in. It, it was work. you, you rescued me. Now, you invited uh, Senator McCain, but he did not show up. So it was just Hillary Clinton That's and right. Barack Obama. Right, now, and you know, I, I think Senator McCain would have come mm. had the Democratic primary not stretched out so long. Right. But you know, our interest in hosting this event actually was to have religious leaders from across the faith and ideological spectrum, like I said before, uh, black, white, Hispanic, standing up Muslim, Jewish, Christian, evangelical mainline, standing up and asking the presidential candidates questions about a broad spectrum of issues having to do with justice and the common goods. Faith in Public Life was really founded to present this you know, unifying force. We believe that religion and the public square should play, I know it's a radical idea, mm -hmm. but a unifying yeah. role. Now we all have in the inner recesses of our hearts our favorite compassion for a moment. I'll tell you mine in a moment. <laughs> What was your, substantively, in terms of policy anyhow, what was your, what's the moment that stays with you from that? That's a great question. I think, I think it might be David Gushy standing up and asking about torture. We had already done so much work in the faith community across the spectrum, really with every faith, bringing together uh, a national religious campaign against torture. And he was, he's been one of the strong spokespeople within that organization and started within it, Evangelicals for Human Rights. And so to have him stand up on not just national television, this, this event was aired internationally, mm -hmm. it was aired in, in Espanol. Um, and to have you know, an, an evangelical Christian stand up before the world and renounce torture and ask, how are we going to deal with this issue going forward, dealing with this, you know, this stain on the soul of our nation? Um, I think that was a profound moment. Now, you've gone a long way in presenting a different face of evangelical America. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to get back to that in one moment. I just want to read you my favorite okay. quote yes, from please the Compassion do. Forum. Yes. There I was in row 12, happy to be in the forum because I was previously almost evicted, <laughs> right. but you rescued me. This is Senator Hillary Clinton. I understand why some people, even religious people, even people of faith might say, why are you having this forum? And why are you exploring these issues from the two people who are vying to be president of the United States? And what was interesting to me is for a nanosecond, Senator Clinton understood that there might be some Americans out there that found this to be just a tad bit odd. Mm -hmm. Senator Obama was posed the same question he kind of didn't even respond to it, which is understandable. He went on to something else. Mm -hmm. But I, I found uh, Senator Clinton's awareness mm -hmm. of the delicate, fragile church state mm -hmm. issues involved mm -hmm. in this uh, to be really quite reassuring to me anyhow. Good. And, and that's something that we are always aware of mm -hmm. in our work. 
um, you know, absolutely as an organization believe in the separation between religious and governmental institutions. That's critical. That's critical to the health and vitality of both mm. in a pluralistic civil society, absolutely. Now, at the same time, we affirm, obviously, absolutely, uh, such an important role for faith in public life, and we want to be sure that faith, the role that faith does play in public life is a unifying one. Okay. Is there any type of dialogue between your group, which I'm starting to realize is a rather powerful group in Washington. Oh, uh, my. Now, is there any dialogue between your group and the Obama administration? Do they consult with Certainly. you? Certainly. I think something that is really uh, important about the way this White House is doing business is that far more, as far as I can tell, compared to previous White Houses, there is a greater breadth mm -hmm. and depth of engagement with the faith community. We did not talk to the Bush White House very often. Um, now, people could say, well, that's because you're not the religious right, Katie. Mm -hmm. But this White House, this Obama White House, they're talking to everybody. Mm 